Hello and welcome to the Roll20 Master Series. My name is Eran Arbel and I'll be telling you how to do better on Roll20. I've been playing role-playing games for over 25 years, I've been on Roll20 for 8 of them, I've been guiding for 3 of them, and my current campaign on Roll20 is going on 18 months now. And I'm the kind of person who just can't live well enough alone, and I always have to do better than what I'm currently doing. But I'm also lazy, so I don't think what I'm doing is very hard once you got the basic setup and you know what you're doing. A short disclaimer, this is my point of view, this is how I play, this is how I think you should play, this is how I recommend you should play, but depending on who you are, what you prefer, your mileage may vary and you might find something that you prefer or you like to do better, so take everything here as guidelines and not as rules that have to be followed to the letter. I will say that I have tried several things in my years on Roll20, I have tested, I have arrived at what I consider to be the best, most convenient way to play. Do note that I play D&D 5th edition on Roll20. If you are here for some reason and you are not playing on Roll20, then this video series is not for you. And if you are not playing D&D 5th edition, then the characters, sheets and the monster stats will probably not be the same, but I think the rest of it will be useful to you. Each video in the series will cover one aspect of the Roll20 system, for example the sidebar, the map, the interface, and I will mention in each video which parts are for players and which parts are only for guides, and I will section each video by what I think is the basic stuff and what I think is more advanced. Before I start I want to say thanks to Roll20's own tutorials and master series, which I've learned a lot from. They're old, but I think they can still be useful if you're into reading. Thank you to Cody from Taking20, who made his own Roll20 Master series, which I th currently think is slightly on the technical side, and I'd like to make this more simple, so I'm making this. And all the people I learned from on the Roll20 forums, which are probably annoyed at me for all the questions. And I would also like to thank Kakarotu, who created the Beyond20 extension and Justus Stormy Debrilla, who created the VDT Enhancement Suite. Both of these extensions I will get into more details shortly. Enjoy the video series, and thank you for watching. 